A new scanner is making it possible to detect small tumors in the breast that are cancerous when they're most treatable. It can also help reassure women when there's nothing to worry about. Health Connection reporter shows us, Diana Gonzalez shows us this new technology at work right here in South Florida. It looks like mammography, but this scanner can tell the difference between a malignant and benign lump without needles or incisions. It's called positron emission mammography, or PEMFLEX, a high-resolution PET scanner specifically for the breast. And it is approximately 91% sensitive, meaning of 100 cases, 91, 100 cases of malignancy, 91% will show up in this examination. Before the scan, the patient is injected with a syringe that's kept in a lead container because it's a radioactive isotope. Then she has to wait 80 minutes for the body to absorb it. Active cells take up the radioactive material so a malignant lump lights up. It wouldn't show up if it were benign. We could save some people like Denise Houghton from having a biopsy. Denise's breast scan showed no malignancy after a mammogram that was hard to read. I wasn't pulled and tugged as much as I was when the mammogram was being done. The other thing I liked about it, I could actually see the, <laughs> the scans. Images displayed on a screen right next to the patient. And these scans can pick up malignancies other tests can't. This is a second lesion that they didn't see on the mammogram, they didn't see on a sonogram, and it is accumulating the radionuclide, and it is therefore 93% specific for another malignancy. Mercy Hospital is the only one in South Florida with this new scanner. It's part of a federal study comparing PEMFLEX to mammogram, ultrasound, and MRI. They're looking for volunteers, women recently diagnosed with breast cancer or with a suspected recurrence, also those at high risk because of genes or family history, and women who have unclear results from other breast studies. For more information, log on to our website at NBC6.net and click on Health Connection. Diana Gonzalez, NBC6. Well, when someone says they're suffering from a broken heart, they may be closer to the truth than they realize. It's dubbed broken heart syndrome or stress cardiomyopathy, a condition is triggered by intense physical or emotional stress, like the death of a loved one. Researchers believe that in some people, a sudden spike in stress hormones can temporarily shock the heart and weaken the heart muscle. According to a study, stress hormone levels were two or to three times higher among stressed heart patients compared to patients who suffered a classic heart attack.